to me, I'm thinking that he knows the struggles or the challenges that comes with, you know, raising a fully black daughter, a dark skinned daughter. And I think that's where that comes from. I've seen online where people are saying, did he have a baby with Lanisha Cole to prove that he can have variety in his uh, baby mother lineup? Guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to take time to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are not already currently subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button right now. Also, I am on Patreon.com and I do have another channel called Brandy Beer BCV. Navigate to the first comment pinned to the top to check that out. Also, you guys, comment on the video. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what you have to say about the video, even if you're talking. Okay, I want to hear from you. Also, like the video, it's free, it's easy, like the video. Now let's get into this topic. So today we're talking about Nick Cannon and his newest born child with Lanisha Cole. Lanisha and Nick both took to their Instagram pages to post a sweet photo of the two of them along with the birth of their daughter, Onyx Ice Cole Cannon. But there's been some controversy surrounded around Nick Cannon having a baby with specifically Lanisha. Obviously, there's been controversy around Nick having, you know, his tribe of baby mamas and what he's doing. But people have been talking about this situation because Lanisha is a fully black woman, 110%. She's not racially ambiguous. So that has been a topic of conversation since the news broke that Lanisha did, did give birth to Nick's child. You know, fans have noticed that Nick has a type. Uh, he has been procreating with racially ambiguous women. Mariah Carey, racially ambiguous. Brittany Bell, racially ambiguous. Abby De La Rosa, racially ambiguous. Alyssa Scott, racially ambiguous. Brie Tiesi, racially ambiguous. Lanisha Cole, beautiful, fully black woman. For months, you know, Lanisha Cole did hide, you know, the fact that Nick Cannon was her baby daddy. You know, fans were speculating if, you know, Nick was the baby daddy. A lot of people, you know, did think that maybe Nick really was the baby daddy because he uh, and Lanisha Cole did have history. They go way back to 2017 um, and they reconnected, I believe, in 2020 um, until things fell apart, you know, I think during Valentine's Day or something when he sent flowers to the other baby mamas and she got mad. So <laughs> I think that's what happened with that. But we know now that, that Nick Cannon is the father of Lanisha's baby. And I think Nick is fully aware of what people are saying about he and Lanisha um, and what, you know, what their, you know, thoughts of on him having, you know, procreating with only racially ambiguous women because he took to Instagram to write this. Introducing Honest Ice Cold Cannon. Once again, today I am in awe of the divine feminist. God has given me and Miss Lanisha Cole the privilege of hosting an angel here on earth. I vow to protect, provide, guide, and love this child to the best of my abilities. In this moment of celebration and jubilee, I wish to mute any low vibration frequencies and only rejoice with the highest class of civilization who truly aligned with our purpose here in this dimension. We all learn so much from these angels we call children. I am learned this, it is not the limited amount of time we have on this planet, but it's the limited amount of love that is the issue. And I promise to love this little girl with all my heart, regardless what anyone says. I've given up on attempting to define myself or the world or society, but instead I'm doing the work to heal and grow into the infinite being God ordained me to be. Hopefully I can teach Onyx the same. To not let others shame or ridicule her with their outside opinions because when they do, they are only projecting their own harsh experiences, pain, and social programming onto her unblemished beauty. As we all know, I am not easily triggered and have quite tough skin and have always been an open book, but not everyone in my family has that same level of strength. So I pray and ask others to please protect all criticism and cynicism towards me and not the loving and precious mothers of my children. At Miss Lanisha Cole is one of the most guideless, peaceful, and non-confrontational kind souls I've ever witnessed and only deserves to reveal in this moment of blissful joy of motherhood. Please give her that. 
She is so loving and pure hearted. As for me, if you are truly concerned during this time of spiritual warfare, my inner struggles with self, mental awareness, and physical health concerns, just continue to pray for me and my entire family that God will grant us peace that surpasses all understanding. Aw, this was actually a really, really sweet and nice message, but Nick is saying, get out of his business, okay? <laughs> He's telling the trolls, leave him alone, let him procreate in peace, and let him do what he is doing in peace, and leave him and his baby mothers alone, okay? <laughs> but I think that it's very um, interesting that he said this particular thing in that post. Hopefully, I can teach Onyx the same to not let others shame or ridicule her with their outside opinions because when they do, they are only protecting their own harsh experiences, pain, and social programming onto her unblemished beauty. So to me, I'm thinking that he knows the struggles or the challenges that comes with, you know, raising a fully black daughter, a dark-skinned daughter. And I think that's where that comes from. I've seen online where people are saying, did he have a baby with Lanisha Cole to prove that he can have variety in his uh, baby mother lineup? Um, I don't know, you guys. I'm, I would hate to think that he did that, but I mean, he's always been vocal about he does, you know, love all women, you know, regardless of color or whatever. Um, but, you know, he's also gotten called out for only having, procreating uh, children with racially ambiguous women, so it's quite possible that he did do this proof point. Who knows, I don't know. But it's interesting that that did come up. Another point that kind of backs that up is, he wrote this lengthy post, he hadn't done that with any other birth of a child. Um, of course he said some nice things about his past births, but he never went that far in depth into it. So that is what makes me think that, hmm, maybe he he is aware of, you know, what people are saying about you know, him and his preferences and, and him only procreating with a certain type of woman. So I don't know. And listen, if Nick is tired of us being in his business, then he needs to stop stop posting all of the baby showers, okay? He needs to stop posting with every single baby mama. And his baby mamas need to stop having interviews, okay? Recently, Abby De La Rosa sat down with uh, Sham Booty and kind of explained the relationship that she and ladies the baby, the baby mamas have with Nick. Naturally, yes, I could understand everybody's distaste and disagreements in the way that I have chosen to live my life. And I and I find it funny too when everyone's always coming and be like, he's playing you, he's playing him. Technically speaking, we all know about each other. It's just how much, do you how much Nick is my primary partner. Yes. I'm now, I'm, during this pregnancy, I'm monogamous by choice. I'm monogamous by choice, and that's very important for me to state. But if a connection comes, and it doesn't necessarily have to be sex. And I think that's what everybody always thinks is, oh my God, you guys are having one big orgy. And it's like, actually, no, it's actually quite the opposite. And it's beautiful, and it could be a form of intimacy that's not sexual. It could be deep conversations or, you know, these fun, random, spontaneous dates. Girl, when, you know, as long as they're all talking, then we will all be judging and having opinions. It's just the way it goes. Also, Brie Tiesi, I think it was several weeks back, she also did an interview kind of explaining that, you know, the situation saying that, you know, oh, you know, she's okay with just their family. She's okay whenever he, you know, goes to her. So what is people saying? But you know, on, on Facebook, when it's like in a relationship, <laughs> single, status. complicated, like what is, yeah, like how does it work in the beginning? I don't know, it's just a very different relationship. And so I know a lot of people got all butt hurt when I posted Twin Flame, when I posted our maternity stuff. It's, if you know the real definition of a Twin Flame, it's not your soulmate, it's the same person. Like, they're literally the, the same, same human. Person. So for our interactions and our communication and just everything, it, it, there is no room to argue or fight or disagree because we literally have the same beliefs, beliefs and everything. And, and what is that belief system? Do y'all believe? It, is, is it a mono, it's not a monogamous relationship, no. correct? Is it polygamy? Is it open relationship? Is it 
will never get married. Yeah, I guess it's kind of one of those things where it's like, it's not necessarily anything. It's okay. like, this is just us. This is our relationship. Okay, okay. And what you do outside of that is what you do outside of that. Gotcha. What I do outside of that is what I do gotcha. outside of that. Everything is respectful. Everything is honest. Gotcha. Um, Listen, they're all adults and, you know, they know what they're doing. They are agreeing to, you know, Nick Cannon and having this type of relationship with them. So to each their own. And whatever they're doing is their business at the end of the day. Me personally, I don't have an issue with what Nick Cannon is doing. He's a grown man. They're all grown women. You know, they are choosing to, to be in this relationship and agreeing to the agreement. So kudos to them. Uh, but you know, if you want people to stop talking, then stop posting things on the internet. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Did you know that Lanisha Cole's baby was for Nick Cannon. Do you think that Nick Cannon only had a baby with Lanisha just to prove that he can have variety in his baby mama lineup? Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.